Hey, this is Bruce with the Aquarium Life, and today I'm going to show you how to repair a C40 Griffin bandsaw. Hey, so today I've got a repair here on the uh, C40 Griffin bandsaw. Uh, these are a great bandsaw for cutting corals. Uh, there's also a lot of other uh, uses for a diamond bandsaw. But obviously in this hobby, we're talking about cutting some frags with it. Uh, this belongs to a friend of mine, and he asked me if I could fix it. And I thought, hey, this would be a great time to do a video. Uh, especially because uh, there's uh, some rust on one of the set screws. And so I'm going to show you how we can uh, kind of get around that and make the repair we need to make. We're going to replace both pulleys that are uh, pretty much worn out at this point. There's some bands on the pulleys, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, on this particular pair, I'm going to replace the pulleys and we're going to try to free up uh, some of the adjustments on this. So let's get to it. Alright, so if you own this saw, you probably know this, this part just uh, pulls out here. Normally we'd have some water down in here. And uh, this right here, this is one of our pulleys. And you can see it's, it's worn past the point where the, where the band would be. There's some bands here that help keep uh, contact with the blade, and this is just uh, you know completely worn out. And then we're going to slide this piece up here, and this is uh, this is kind of what our biggest problem is. You can see how rusted that is. Now these are uh, a one eighth Allen head uh, set screw that goes in both of these. Uh, let's let's take a look down here at the bottom. This is how it should look. See, we can uh, we can get our wrench on there no problem. This one is probably going to put up a fight, so I'm going to show you how to get this off. Honestly, I'm not sure what's going to work yet because I'm uh, you know doing this video as I go. Now, the easiest thing to do would be to get some uh, a little bit of rust penetrant on there and let that soak for a while, and we're going to see if that helps. That's the most uh, obvious and most simple uh, route to take. I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to get the, uh, the Allen wrench in there though. Now we can't even get in there. Okay so this this whole head unit here is held on by a couple screws. We've got one right over here. So we've got one screw here and then one screw on the opposite side that's really buried down in there. And we've got a spring in there. So we're going to take the whole head assembly off of this to make it easier to remove that set screw. All right, so we're getting that uh, that second uh, Phillips head out of there. Nothing too uh, seriously complicated about this. That's it. We've got the whole motor out, and this is going to be a lot easier to work on going forward. Something I wanted to point out too on this saw uh, while we're uh, servicing everything. These, uh, these guides right here. Uh, this saw was very, very difficult to adjust. And the reason being is that these guides right here have got some rust built up on them. So, you know, those would fit down in there. And, uh, and they should be able to slide freely and all the uh, the adjustment should lay in that screw well this thing's been kind of uh, sitting seized up so we're gonna fix that we're gonna use some steel wool so sorry guys I really messed up Royal and I thought I had footage of me soaking the uh, the pump pulley in vinegar and I did not so I apologize so essentially what we're gonna do is we've got a five gallon bucket and this could be any container really the point is, let's pretend that uh, we were just trying to soak this 
Um, let's say that was the pulley. We didn't want to get the motor. So we would only put, we'd put our uh, pump in there and we'd only put an appropriate amount of vinegar in the bucket. You know, like in this case, it was about uh, three quarters of an inch of vinegar to soak that pulley. We let it sit for uh, 48 hours and uh, it made a huge, huge difference. Um, white vinegar, just like, uh, just like this Kroger vinegar here, nothing too special about it, but vinegar is very acidic and it will eat through the rust. And I've used this to clean tools, I've used this to free up parts, and it does a really good job. It's very inexpensive. So hopefully from this you can kind of see the, uh, the concept there. In fact, you can still see, maybe if it'll show up on video, you can st still see the ring around in the bucket where I had the vinegar filled up. And then I had my uh, pulley sitting in there and it just soaked. Obviously we do not want to get our, the motor um, wet. We don't want to put any vinegar on the motor. So there's that. Okay, so we've been uh, soaking this for about 24 hours in vinegar and uh, you know obviously it's not going to get this these huge pieces of rust off of there but we should be able to have this freed up now we can actually get the allen wrench in there which is a good sign before it wouldn't even go in Feels like it's actually turning. And it is turning. Honestly, this part is so bad I would recommend replacing it. However, I did want to show you this trick for, uh, you know, working with uh, removing rust. There we go. There we got our set screw out. All right, so this thing is really, really bad. I'm still gonna try to save the uh, motor and the shaft. Uh, realistically, I can probably save this, uh, this collar piece too here. Uh, it started to come off. We're replacing the uh, pulley anyway, so I broke that to kind of get down to, to the shaft. We're gonna need to take a wire wheel to that, clean all that off. Um, this is uh, really, really bad. Uh, it's a really good, uh, I think, example for this video. Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, I guess on the video, no time has passed, but it's been a few days. What I had to do to get this retainer off was soak it in, uh, in the vinegar, and I let that go for about uh, 48 hours. And let's see if we can kind of zoom in on that. You can see that uh, that was that uh, piece there that was completely rusted. Uh, I did take a wire wheel to that, but uh, the vinegar uh, actually got that off. We saved it uh, for, you know, I, I guess uh, it would have been a lot easier to take a die grinder and just cut the thing off and order a new one. But I'm pretty stubborn and I wanted to, uh, wanted to get it off. So anyway, this piece right here. Uh, we ended up taking some steel wool to that. We got these all smoothed out and I've uh, put a little bit of coconut oil on there which also incidentally 
makes the uh, best popcorn. I love making uh, theater movie, you know, popcorn at home, and uh, coconut oil is the best thing for that. But it also works as a really good uh, rust inhibitor as well. So we put a little bit of that on there, just kind of wipe off any excess. And you see that slides perfectly free now. We're going to put this back on with the uh, set screw. Can't remember if I mentioned this in the video or not, but it is a uh, 1 8 Allen wrench that you need. So, now you know if you get one of these that rusts up on you, you can get it off, uh, soak that for a few days in vinegar, uh, a little bit of time, and you can get that off. I replaced this pulley. Uh, what I ended up doing was uh, breaking the old pulley off. Uh, it needed to be replaced anyway, so it didn't really matter. And then I was able to, uh, once that was uh, broken free with the, uh, the vinegar, I was able to take a socket and kind of pound that down a little bit and then some pliers and work it back up some steel wool get everything cleaned up and now this uh, piece works as well as it uh, did when it was brand new all right normally you would not have to take the motor out um, but with everything we did that was that was a lot easier to do um, we're going to put our bushings back into place Spring fits down in there. And then you can see the screws are going to go back into there. Fit that right back in. Very easy to uh, assemble and disassemble. I don't know how well you could see that, but uh, essentially it's just the, the bushings, the uh, screws go through there, and uh, hold this whole assembly together. Alright, that's all put together. We're going to put a new blade on there. We've got our uh, our guide piece. Really, these guides need to be replaced, so I'm going to get those ordered and do that. Uh, when you put the blade on, you want to make sure that the diamond is uh, the diamond coating is facing outward. All right, so you've got a sponge here, and then a sponge down here at the bottom that kind of fits into that groove. And you can actually just take, uh, it looks like that's what they kind of already had on this sponge, was uh, just a generic everyday sponge that you'd get at the grocery store. And then you can just uh, trim that to the size you need with any pair of scissors. If you're using one that has uh, the scrubby part on it, just make sure that that's uh, facing away from the blade. And that's all you need for the sponges. You've got your, uh, your guides right here. And uh, these guides do need to be replaced. Uh, the purpose of this video was more to show you how to get the seized uh, uh, pulley off. Um, also, there are rubber bands that are on these. Uh, this is long since... Uh, worn away and it's just uh, been the uh, actual plastic of the wheel that the blade's been riding on 
So what happened was this saw got to the point where it wouldn't cut at all. Uh, the blade would just slip back. So let's go ahead and put our cover back on here. And we've got our blade which is supposed to ride near the uh, rear of the pulley. And we're going to put, uh, we're going to slide this piece back on. Okay, all back together. Let's fire it up and give it a shot. So in conclusion, uh, hopefully you've gotten uh, some good information from this video. Uh, more so, you know, basically what you can do if you've got a saw with uh, some seized up parts. Uh, most of the parts are available for these saws. They're a uh, really good product. Uh, I know a lot of people that use these for uh, coral fragging. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a, a product that I'd recommend. It's worth taking a little extra time to, to uh, go through, service everything, get everything running properly. We still need to add guides on this. But uh, hopefully you can see the point of the video was actually, uh, you know, if something seized up on there, something's rusted, you can still fix it. You don't uh, necessarily have to throw the saw in the trash. Uh, there are quite a few serviceable parts. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you could, please follow me on Instagram. That's vital underscore reef. Uh, if you could uh, give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the video, either way, whether you liked it or not. And I would love to hear uh, your comments. Uh, again, thank you so much. That's on